Hi all. In this video, we will discuss how to retrieve first and last record from a table. And we will retrieve this first and last record from source table and we load first record into one target table and last record in another target table. Here, in source database, we have a table first and last with these records. This is ID, this is name, this is number. Here, this is the first name, first record. I will load this first record into one target table, and this is the last record. And I will load this record into another target table. In Informatica, we will identify first and last records using rank transformation. Here I will take two rank transformations. One is to identify the first record, and another one is to identify the last record based on the properties which we which we have to set in rank transformation. Now I will create a mapping. From sources, I am importing first and last table. first and last and in target here i have created first and last two tables with the names first and last i have imported two first and last target transformation now i will create a mapping M underscore first time last. Okay. I'm dragging first time last source into mapping designer. Now I will make it rank transformation. This is used to identify the first record in the table, and another rank transformation to identify the last record in the table. Here by default. We have a port that is rank index. I am mapping these three fields to rank first transformation and these three fields to rank last transformation. And then going to rank first properties. Here the trans uh, transformation scope is for all inputs. And going to the ports, here the rank will be performed based on ID kill. By default, it is set to ID. And in properties, I am changing the top bottom properties value to bottom, and the number of rank is one from beginning. Okay, for rank last, I am changing the properties. It is all by default. It is set to top. I left with top. For first, I am taking I am taken bottom. For last, I have taken top. We will the rank port. Here it is set to ID. Okay. Now I will take two target transformation that is first and last. I am mapping ID name phone number to first target transformation. And ID name phone number to last to target transformation. I'm saving the mapping. Now I'm creating a session for this mapping in task developer. Task create a task. 
एस एंड स्कोर सिमंड स्कोर फर्स्ट लास्ट associating with the first and last mapping then and in workflow design i am creating a workflow with the name w underscore first underscore last i am joining these two with the line task i am changing the database connections in mapping cap Changing the connection value to target and last DB connection. This is the second target instance to target and source instance to source database and source connection to source value and target connection value to target database. Okay, I'm saving the session. So present in our first. Target database. We have two tables, first and last. In these two tables, we have records. I'm deleting these records. First, last. Now I'm running the SQL. In first and last tables in target database, we do not have any records. In workflow manager, I'm running the session. session is running session succeeded successfully going to session log we'll pay the tour guide target and source load summaries in source we have five records that is in first and last table in first we have one record in last we have one record go to the sql server database run the sql in first database we have one first to 234 in last table we have 10 id if you look into the source database we have records 1 to 10 that is first record id is 1 and last record id is 10 this first record id is loaded into the target table first table that is 1 and this is the last record loaded into the target database last table here based on our rank transformation properties first and last record in a table will be identified and we are loading those identified records into the first and last target tables thank you